Hey, hey, hey there my fellow hunter enthusiasts. Welcome back to Gameplay Service where we talk about everything and anything related to gaming. Today, we're going to dive into the depths of the swampy areas of Monster Hunter World, where a formidable beast called Juritotos reigns supreme. But that's not all. Lurking in the shadows are some sinister creatures that will give you the creeps. Now, okay, I know you're all pumped up to hear about these spooky creatures, so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. These shadowy monsters are like nothing you've ever seen before. Their glowing eyes and sharp claws will make even the most seasoned hunters quiver in their boots. But don't let their scary appearance fool you. These creatures are incredibly agile and quick, and they won't hesitate to take you down if you're not careful. And trust me, I know this from personal experience. Just the other day, I was on a mission to hunt down Juritotos, and I stumbled upon one of these sinister shadows. At first, I thought it was just a regular monster, but as soon as I saw its glowing eyes, I knew something was off. Huh? Wait, what's that there? I tried to attack it, but it was too quick for me. Before I knew it, I was on the ground, writhing in pain. But being the resilient gamer that I am, I wasn't going to give up that easily. This time, I was prepared. I had my trusty armor on, and I was ready to take on whatever came my way. Hmm, a Nergitani Fang? Hmm. So, my fellow gamers, if you're planning on taking on Juratotos, be sure to watch out for these shadowy monsters. They may be scary, but with the right mindset and strategy, you can take them down. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's so scary about a swamp? Well, let me tell you, this is no ordinary swamp. It's dark, murky, and filled with all sorts of dangerous creatures, including the infamous Juritotos. No, the Juratotus, that didn't kill the Baroth, it was, uh, uh. This monster is no joke with its massive size, powerful jaws, and the ability to spit water at high speeds. But that's not even the scariest part. The Juratotos is also known to summon shadow creatures that can easily overwhelm even the most experienced hunters. But fear not, fellow gamers. I've got some tips and tricks that will help you take down this terrifying beast and its shadowy minions.
Firstly, make sure you come prepared. Bring your best armor, weapons, and items, including plenty of antidotes and potions. You'll need all the help you can get to survive this hunt. Secondly, keep your eyes peeled for the Juratotos and its shadow minions. These creatures are incredibly fast and can attack you from all angles. Use your slinger to distract them while you focus on taking down the Juratotos. And finally, don't be afraid to call in some backup. This quest is tough, but with the help of your fellow hunters, you can take down the Juratotos and its shadow minions once and for all. As we venture deeper into the swamp, the atmosphere gets thicker and the shadows get darker. It's easy to get lost in this eerie environment, but we must stay focused on our mission to hunt down the Juratotos. But wait, what's that noise? Is that a shadow creeping up on us? It's time to be on high alert, fellow hunters. These shadows are not to be taken lightly. They could be a sign of something even more sinister lurking in the swamp. The Juratotos is a formidable opponent, but we are ready for the challenge. However, we can't let our guard down for even a moment. The shadows are still lurking, waiting for their chance to strike. As we engage in battle with the Juratotos, we must also keep an eye out for any signs of the shadows. They could be waiting for the perfect opportunity to pounce on us when we are distracted. But we are skilled hunters, and we won't let these shadows scare us off. With our weapons and tactics, we will emerge victorious. And once the Juratotos is defeated, we will have saved the swamp from its terror. The monsters are running away. Hey, don't fight. run, Juratotos! I know you are exhausted and want to sleep. I need to sharpen my weapon before finish this Juratotus. That's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Gameplay Service for more gaming content. Until next time, keep on gaming!
Gather around, everyone. We're ready to begin. Thanks to you, we've made great strides towards understanding the tracks that have turned up across the continent. Our researchers have done some projections, and now we know where Zora Magdaros will go next. It's heading for the Great Ravine. The Great Ravine? The huge valley out past the Wildspire? Correct. So I have a proposition for all of you. I say we try and capture Zora once it gets there. Have you gone mad? Capture it? Hear me out. The ravine is the perfect terrain for staging such an event. We're not going to get a better chance than this. If we don't take this opportunity, it could be a decade before the next opportunity presents itself. Maybe longer. Is it even possible? If I said it wasn't, would that stop you? Let's give it a go. With the fifth supporting us, our chances are as good as ever. Then it's settled. Before we send the hunters out for the capture, we need to secure Astera. An Anjanath has been active in the area. Not the kind of monster you toy around with. We'll need a plan for it. You're right. Hunters, you have your next assignment. Take care of that Anjanath. But be careful. The Anjanath is a fearsome monster. One slip-up, and you're done. Uh, Commander, if I may, I think I have a great idea. Hunter, I could use your help. Drop by later, if you will. Another thing. That troubling report we received. Think you could... Right. Good, then. Let's get this show on the road. We have an Elder Dragon to capture. Everyone dismissed. We should probably listen to what the Chief Botanist has to say before we do anything else. Ah. 